Jesus. Amen. I want you to turn your Bibles to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Amen. The battle is intensifying. Amen. The heat is getting hotter. Choir, hold your seat. Because the heat is hot. Amen. Come on, come on. If you are going to be a child of God in this time, you will be despised. Amen. Come on. What did it say about Jesus in the book of Isaiah chapter 53? He was what? He was despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrow and acquainted with many grief. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So therefore, as a child of God, we have got to the truth. I have to stand on the ground. Stand your ground and say, I'm a child of God. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It's a war. Uh -huh. It's a battle. It's a wrestling match. Amen. Come on. Even though we might wrestle, but it's not you. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is flesh against. We wrestle against Prince Even when he was running, he was fighting. Talk to me now. Talk to me. Amen. Yes. So when Mrs. Spotify grabbed after Joseph, Joseph ran. But while he was running, he was fighting. Because Joseph said, how can I do such a wicked thing and sin against my God? Amen. It's a wrestling. But the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. That's where we fight, brothers and sisters. That's the fight. Come on, choir. That's the fight. You can't just sit on the choir and look cute, dress nice and sing sweet. No, that's not what it's all about. It's about warring. Amen. We have got to war because the enemy that we fight is dangerous. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia blocked the man, amen, the angel for 21 days. How about you? How about the prince of West Prospect? Amen. Come on. We need a choir that is anointed to stand up and fight. And when you set up the word, when you set up the song into the heavens, and when it attacks the kingdom of darkness, the people around us start to give up their lives. Come on, talk to me. We need anointed worshippers. Come on, worship us. We need people who will worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. There is an attack on family life. There is, a, there is an attack on every aspect of a child of God's life. Amen. And that is the reason why we have got to fight consistently. Hallelujah. We have got to fight through the week. Amen. Hallelujah. And we have got to stand our ground because it's a wrestling match. But the war that we fight is not in the flesh. Hush. Hallelujah. Come on. Father, it's not ground. Hallelujah. But the gun that I carry is bigger than anyone that may No match for me. Hallelujah. Because I have a weapon that is available to me. The Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost. When he comes in the middle of the night, it's just Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And so therefore, all those whose batches are running down, you better come to the fountain. Shandaya Come to the fountain and recharge your batteries. Get your batteries recharged so that you can fight. Hallelujah. Come on, trust somebody and tell them fight. Yes, yes, yes. It's sometimes, I notice there are times when there's a spirit in the battle. Hallelujah. Yes, come on. We have got to fight for everything that we have as children of God. Number one, we have got to fight for our salvation. And that is important. We have got to fight for our salvation. In order to be saved, we have got to fight. Somebody say, Hallelujah. 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 We have got to fight for our families. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because if we can get our families down, if we can get our families, then the devil will have the church on the back foot. But in the name of Jesus, we're going to fight 
prayer warriors. We're calling on the prayer warriors. Hallelujah to God. We call in all, amen, the warriors of glory to stand up and fight in the streets when we get in our corner. Fight. Hallelujah. It's a constant fight. We recognize. We recognize that the enemy is strategically attacking the church. Yes. Amen? Yes. Come on, talk to me. Yes. The enemy is strategically attacking the church. More so is the preaching ministry, the choir ministry, the music ministry. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. The prayer ministry. Yes. These ministries are at the front of the battle. And if we give up on prayer, then the church is going to be broken, limping and sick and end up crashing. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. But I'm not afraid of the church. Amen. I'm not afraid that the church is going down any day. But the Bible tells me, amen, that when Jesus said, he said, open this rock. I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So the gates of hell is going to fight, but it shall not prevail. But they are mighty. Tell somebody mighty. mighty. Hallelujah. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of the stronghold of the enemy. Yes, that we need to pull down. Amen. But we have the weapon. Yes. Praise God. We have the weapon. See, to the pulling down of the strongholds of the enemy. Yes. There are some strongholds that we need to pull down. Yes. Hallelujah. We can name them. We know them. We can name them. We can name them. We need to pull them down in the name. Pull them down that we shall rejoice as a church. We shall have the victory. Fight for your family. Hallelujah. Come on. Fight for your children. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. We have got to fight for our children. Our children are up against great forces and they need help. Yes. It doesn't make sense with your children in the day we are child. Stand up for your children. Stand up for your children. Amen. Hallelujah. We cannot allow our children to be on violence. We've got to stand up for our children. So we say to be because of her own stupidity. Yes. And she was taking it out on the little child. I say to parents, be patient with your children. Stand up with your children. Pray with your children. Encourage your children. Lead them into righteousness. Stand up for God. I'm positive. I know God is going to bless your children. Because the Bible told me you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. So you shall be a fruit of in your season. And every fruit that is on you will be in season. And God is going to bless you. Stand up for the children. We need finally. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Some of us are naked. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on. Some of us are naked. Hallelujah. Come on. We are exposed. We are naked. Naked in the presence of God. But Jesus said, do what? Put on the whole armor of God. Yes, Clothe yourself in the armor. Come on. Put on your clothes. Get out of your nakedness and put on your clothes. Put on your armor. Yes, right. On your feet. Our lives must be worried and be true. Yes, Look here. If the waves go on, the entire week. So guess what? When we have the truth of God in our lives, then we can fight any battle. We can stand up for the truth shall set you free. Yeah. 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 
The Bible says we must put on the breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. And can I tell you, the breastplate is a part to cover the heart. Amen. Guard your heart. For it contains the wellspring of life. Guard your heart. Hallelujah. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. And what is righteousness? Righteousness is doing right. Hallelujah. Come on. If you do right, then you're doing righteous. You don't need to pass life for food. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is our provider. I know him as Jehovah Jireh. He is my provider. So if I need food, I don't I know where to go. I just I just call upon God because he is Jehovah Jireh. Come on. Hallelujah. Our salvation. Don't let the devil control your head. Put on the helmet of salvation. Your head must be covered. So that means your mind is right. Hallelujah. I'm covered. My God. God covered my mind so I can think right. Don't mess with me, devil. You are telling me that because I don't have money in my pocket, I can't make it. The devil is a liar. I don't need money to survive. As long as I've got Jesus. Oh, as long as I've got Jesus, then that's enough. Walk all over the place telling people, Lord, me, I'm suffer. Me, I have no money. That devil is a liar. If I don't have money, I am not a sufferer. I'm a, I'm a sufferer. I don't have money. Because when I don't have money, Jesus showed up and he takes care of my business. Somebody. I am somebody because I'm a child of God. If my wife leave me, then hey, 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 it's not the end of the road. I still have Jesus. Come on, she can't leave me. But if she should I leave me, hallelujah, amen. Come on, if she should I leave me, I still have Jesus. I still have Jesus. And if I have Jesus, what else do I need? I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. I'd rather have Jesus than riches and told. I'd rather have Jesus. Give me Jesus in the evening. I have it all. Just give me Jesus. The next, if you notice all the rest of weapons, check them out. The feet, the preparation of the gospel of peace, the mind's guard of truth, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, and the shield of faith. All of those, all of those are defensive weapons. Yes, sir. Yes, all of those are defensive. But you just put on the helmet to protect the head. Yes, man. You just put on the shield so that you don't put the sword. Yes. Hello. You put your lines, you just gird up your lines so that it can be protected. You put your gird, you put on the breastplate to guard your heart. Just have a word. Hallelujah. 
I just need a word to remind me that he's a whole child. He's a farming kid. When I'm hungry, I just need to know that he's a bread of life. I need a word. I need a word. Oh God Almighty, you take your money, take your, your fame, take your possession, take everything that you have. Oh, the Bible said he sent forth his word and it healed. I don't know where you are. Come on. I don't know. I don't care where you are. God can just send a word. The centurion said, Well, you don't even have to come to my house. God can speak the word. Yeah. Hallelujah, come on. And this is this salvation thing is like a joke business. It's easy. We, you know, we, we can talk a lot, you know. Well, a lot about that. It's not just a word talk. It's a living, it's a life, it's a living. It's, it's, it's a way of life. Salvation is a way of life. Amen. Even when you're down, you still remember to call upon the Lord. Yeah. Down there and he saw Stephen preaching this same Jesus near doctrine. Yes, and when they saw Stephen, he, he told them a story. They stole us, put on the clothes at Paul's feet, and when the arm of their heart, so that they could choose one good. And they put it down on his feet, and Paul stood up and watched them stole Stephen to death. And while Stephen was dying, a righteous man was dying. Come on. Lord have mercy. It's a beautiful thing to see a righteous man die. Oh my God, when a sinner, when a wicked is dying, it's a whole heap of problem. But when a righteous die, Stephen was getting stolen in his head all over. And Stephen would look at them and say, Lord, lay not the sin to your charge. Hallelujah. Stephen look up. Oh my God, and he saw Jesus and died while Paul was there under pressure. Because when the devil, when the enemy pressure you, God put them under pressure because he covers you with his feathers and under you his wings shall you trust. Just stay under the wings of God. Yeah. How many is a word? Yes, sir. Just to know that when the storms are raging, he gives me peace. Because I have the peacekeeper who can just speak to the wind and the wave and say, Peace be still. Hallelujah. That's why I love Isaiah 43 so much. When you're going to the fire, you shall not be burned. Can you imagine we're just walking around in the fire? You, you know, some of us have been terrified. We want to come with that fire. But they were just walking around in the fire. Enjoying the fire. Hallelujah. Come on. I know some of you are sitting in fire right now. Some of you are going through some trouble. Some of you are going through some hardship. You need the fire to walk around. Hallelujah. Come on. You are going through somebody today. You are going through fire. Walk around. It's burning and you know you're not feeling it. It's not bothering you. The devil thought you would have been dead when you're walking around. He fire. Oh, but Jesus is in the fire. When the Lord is in the fire, you can walk around. Hallelujah. No need to get, 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 get real action. You can walk around in the fire. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Weeping may endure for a night. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, let the tears flow. Yeah, man. Release the tears and let them flow. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're in the night. Weeping may. May. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. May. may endure for the night. May. So go and cry. Yeah. But in the morning. Oh, God. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. In the morning. When they're looking for you with a head on God, they see you experiencing joy. Hallelujah. In the morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This bird is a permanent joy. Yes, sir. I have joy on a Sunday. Yes, sir. And you I'm thought it would leave me on a Monday. No. I still have joy. Oh, I know. I'm Jesus. 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 I'm J
Mmm. 